Hi, everybody. We are here live now all together, and I'm so happy to be connecting with all of you. Thank you, everyone. I can see you responding already. Hi, back. <laughs> I hope you're all doing well. I'm having a, a moderate day. It started out not so great, but it's getting better. So I, I have some talking points today that I wrote down that I wanted to just, you know, go through with you before we meditated. Um, mental health is just as vital as our physical health. And a really easy way to make sense of that is that the brain is part of the body. Um, that's especially true for those coping with disaster and recovering from trauma. So I would basically say that uh, these hurricanes, for example, are catastrophes and very traumatic events for people that are living through them or losing loved ones through them or their homes. That's why as part of my commitment to donate a million dollars towards helping communities that have been impacted by the hurricanes that have recently hit Texas, Florida, and Puerto Rico. I'm supporting Save the Children's Journey of Hope program. This amazing evidence-based program is incredible and it's exactly what I wanted to do. And I also want to um, clarify that I will be um, also donating and uh, putting forward more help to the other islands that were affected, uh, uh, but this is uh, where we, we are beginning today. The evidence-based program in Journey of Hope uh, helps youth to develop the resilience that they need to recover mentally and emotionally as well as physically from the traumatic events that are following these hurricanes. So Save the Children is working to bring it to hundreds of thousands of young people in Texas, Florida, and Puerto Rico. In recognition of World Mental Health Day, please join me, if you will, and support this transformational program. I'm sharing a link on Twitter, and you can use that to help Save the Children and ensure that these young people have the skills and the resources that they need to thrive in the face of tragedy. I'll be sharing more in the coming weeks about how else I'll be supporting these beautiful and vibrant communities and helping them all recover. Um, and we're very grateful that Save the Children uh, exists and we're very grateful that they're partnering with us. Um, I have notes. <laughs> So I wanted to start by saying that um, meditation has been found to ease depression, anxiety, uh, panic, and uh, chronic pain. And I have chronic pain and I have mental issues and I find it helpful for both of those things. Um, I wanted to just say a couple of things uh, to personalize you know, my experience as well as the experience that I'm having with my psychiatrist. I think a lot about how I talk to myself now um, and how do I want to talk to myself? How do I want to talk to myself tomorrow? How, how do I want to change how I talk to myself? And sometimes that really is helpful to think about when I'm looking in the mirror uh, and making positive affirmations like um, I've been reading this book um, mirror work and saying I love you to myself or I'm really trying to love you and if there's anything that's bothering me that I don't want to talk about you know if that's happening is there somebody in my life that I do feel comfortable talking to about it and noticing that feeling and trying to act on it. I also think a lot about if there's anyone in my life that I'm worried about and 
if I am, can I talk to that person and share that with them? Also sleep. This has been a really big thing for me that even though, you know, sometimes I know that I've been asleep because I fall asleep and then I wake up, it's how deeply am I sleeping? Am I getting enough sleep? And that's very important for mental health. So um, I use a Fitbit. Um, it's not on right now, but there's all the other, other sleep trackers and things that you can find and it can help you see if you're sleeping deeply or not and you can you know do your own research on um, what kinds of sleep are really good for the brain and body and we can also help provide that too uh, and if you're not sleeping well I think and, and when I'm not sleeping well I call my therapist or my psychiatrist or my doctor and I talk to them about it the last thing I wanted to mention is, is there anything that you are relying on to give you comfort and that you think you might be relying on it too much? Um, this could include, you know, little or you know, too little food or too much food, um, alcohol, drugs, sex, unhealthy people that you're hanging out with or risky choices. Um, if so, this is definitely something that you should talk about with someone you trust or a doctor or a therapist and that's what I do um, whenever I feel like I'm on the edge. Uh, I really need to feel comforted by people uh, around me. So I'm going to uh, start this meditation soon. I just wanted to reiterate also that you know, there's a lot of, in, in our Born This Way Foundation research, 91% of youth describe themselves as stressed and one in four say that they're nervous all the time or most of the time. And 90% say that they think that mental health is important, but that they don't talk about it enough with anyone. So I think it's really important that we focus on sharing how we feel with one another and more than 60% of youth are saying that it's more helpful to work on your mental health on a daily basis as opposed to waiting for a crisis to happen and then having to, you know, kind of go in and put a Band-Aid on it. So um, I am trying to be a part of the community with my fans through these youth exercises um, and help us create activities and talk to each other and to our friends about mental well-being uh, and one of those ways is through this group meditation so um, and of course you know part of what this group meditation really is is me asking for us to take a moment of silence to have uh, some clarity uh, and to be kind to ourselves. Uh, my mom and I say that a lot. We're the co-founders of the Born This Way Foundation and we say be kind. So I see all your beautiful messages popping up and I'm getting ready to meditate now. We're going to do a 20 minute meditation but first I want to teach you some breathing that really helps me to relax if I feel like I'm going to panic. Uh, so you use your uh, thumb and your first uh, index finger and you breathe in through one nostril with your eyes closed three four five six and then you hold the breath for six and then down the other nostril breathe out Then breathe in again through the same nostril. Hold and then breathe out. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Breathe in. Hold. And 
breathe out. Okay, now I'm gonna get ready to meditate with all of you and the mantra that I'm gonna use today is I am safe, I am calm. Uh, I also like to use one um, like I'm safe uh, or I am in my body. That one really helps me too when I feel like I'm sort of splitting off and not in my body. So I'm gonna lay down and we can get started. And I see all your sweet messages, and I love you all so, so much. Lots of kisses and hugs. So... I like to lay down when I meditate, and get really comfortable. It's good for my body, helps my pain. And just let my back like really sink into the bed or wherever if you're sitting, just let your body just like sink really deeply. And I just take a moment to think about how we can calm the entire world by calming ourselves individually because we're all just one big system that works together. Take a few deep breaths, and then we will begin our meditation, and you will hear a bell every five minutes. For 20 minutes, we will meditate, starting now. Breathe in silence, no, no, no thoughts in your mind, and then breathe out, I am calm. Breathe in silence. No thoughts, and if you have any, let them drift, and then breathe out, I am safe. And if your mind starts to wander, just let the thoughts go and bring it back your mantra or if you're not meditating just try to stay you know in a quiet place and let those thoughts drift away breathe in to direct your attention right between your eyes, sort of right above your nose, right here. You might even feel your eyes flutter. I like that feeling.
sometimes you just have to turn up the corners on the side of my mouth with a small smile. And it helps it just make me feel good.
Sagi Solo Inilara. And reorient myself in the room. Let's see if I'm looking similar. Thank you so much for all of you who meditated with me. I'm very grateful and I feel very relaxed right now and um, with a nice smile. And I just want to say such a thank you to Save the Children for letting us partner with them. I really, really think that the destiny of this donation is meant to be in the hands of uh, professionals who can help uh, children process the trauma of catastrophic storms and earthquakes and we're sending help and we love you and I love you so much to my little monsters fans and anyone who has joined to meditate or sit in silence or pray we just give a little bit more calm to the world and I think that that's wonderful I love you peace and love and all that stuff okay be healthy and be well take care of your mind the brain's the second most important organ in the body to the heart